to a Catholic presence, and happy Good Shepherd Sunday to you. I hope you were able to um, listen to the readings today. They were very beautiful, if you follow up with a live streamed Mass or just reading the scriptures on your own. It's wonderful that we still have that to take in God's Word. Today I thought I would share with you some thoughts I've had on the Lord's Prayer, otherwise known as the Our Father. Um, it's the prayer that Jesus gave to the disciples to pray, to know how to speak to God as a Father. So let's start off with that very prayer. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You know, lately when I've been praying this prayer the past few weeks in a special way, um, it gave me a renewal of spirit of knowing how to call on God as a father who lovingly cares for us. Especially the phrase of, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And also lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know, let's just start off with the first part. Forgive us our trespasses. Of course, quite naturally as Christians, we want to be forgiven by our Father. And I realize how much that I've missed going and receiving the sacrament of confession. Um, but I know that every night before I go to bed that I can, or if, if not more often, tell God I'm sorry by making a sincere act of contrition. But also there's a catch to it in the Our Father. So it goes... And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So God, we're telling God that please forgive me in the same way I forgive my brother or sister in Christ. Now that is the, the tricky part, right? When we don't like the way someone does something or they're annoying or it's just, it feels like a bother the way they're always picking on you in some ways whether they realize it or not. So we have to remember that and help us visualize that we're going to let God forgive us in the same way that we are forgiving our brothers and sisters. So that's where forgiveness is for me right now. And I hope that you can make very soon, hopefully, after the virus is lifted and all the restrictions with it, that you'll be able to make a sincere act of contrition when you go to confession. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 